Okay, when you have a decimal that looks like this one, 1 1.2345, it's read as 1 and 2,345 ten thousandths. You can easily manipulate any decimal if you multiply or divide it by a multiple of tens, because we work in base 10. All you do, if you multiply it by a multiple of 10, so let's multiply it by 1,000. It makes sense intuitively that if you're multiplying, this number is going to be bigger. So what you do is you count the number of zeros in 1,000, and that's how many places you move the decimal point over. So when we're multiplying this decimal by 1,000, there's three zeros in 1,000. So we're going to move this decimal over one, two, three places. And our new answer is going to be 1,234 and 5 tenths. Because the decimal went from this place to this place, three spaces in between. If we took the original decimal up here, and we divided by a thousand, so now we're going to divide by a thousand, it makes sense that if you divide, it's, you're going to get a smaller number. So what we do is we're going to move this decimal three places to the left. In every place that we ha didn't have anything before, we're going to replace with zero. So one, two, three. And then there's going to be zeros in here. And this is going to be the new place for our uh, decimal. And when we divide by a thousand, our answer is going to be point zero zero one two three four five. And that's how you can easily multiply and divide by a thousand given a decimal or a whole number or anything.